Hello everyone. Today I wanted to share my uh, Lolita collective haul. So I'm going to go ahead and try to organize this by the uh, manner in which I purchase things. Hopefully I can remember that correctly enough. But we'll start off with some of the first things I purchased from Lace Market. These are not actually Lolita items, but I had purchased them with the intention of using them for Lolita, so I am including them in the video. The first is this beautiful Cube Hot Sailor Moon Compact Necklace. And the details are just stunning. I really, really wanted these necklaces when they were announced, but they were quite expensive. Thankfully, a seller on Lace Market was selling it for a very nice price, so I was able to pick them up. And it just has a pearl at the end, like this. I also, from the same seller on Lace Market, picked up this one, which will take a little bit more um, you know, I'll have to find a good coordinate to use for it because it has purple and uh, red in it. And this is just beautiful as well. The next thing I purchased were some shoes. I figured, hey, I'm gonna need some nice shoes. So I looked around and I heard that body line shoes were pretty good quality. Um, and were a pretty decent price. So I did pick up two pairs and they were this pair right here, which I don't remember which style it was, but it was available in my size. I'm a size seven, so I got a 23.5. And they were just simple white shoes. The only thing that did bum me out, especially because I didn't buy them during a sale or anything, was that because I purchased them with black shoes, they didn't um, put put them in boxes or anything like that or in different bags and I got black smudges on my brand new shoes. <laughs> I did also want to mention that I did get these in a 23.5 and they did fit a little bit snug so uh, I used a hair dryer in order to loosen them a little bit and they fit better now. With that same order, the shoes that caused the issue were these right here which I had actually wanted in brown, but I didn't ha they didn't have it in brown in my size, so I got these black ones. I'm not sure um, where when I'll be able to use these particular shoes because of my style, um, but they are very gorgeous and I do like them. And I did the same thing with the hair dryer and they fit me perfectly now. The next thing I ordered was actually um, my first dress, which isn't here. Oh no, that's a lie. I forgot something. Give me one moment. Sorry about that. The next thing I purchased was actually this, which is the Angelic Pretty Powdered Rose Two-Tier Skirt. Um, it's a mini skirt though, and because of that, it can only really be used for casual Lolita. I do really like it still. I just wish that um, it wasn't quite so short. <laughs> and um, I love the details though, and I'll probably keep it because it's my first piece of brand that I got. I just wish that it wasn't quite so short. Uh, and then after that I got my first Tabaha dress, which I will show in a different video because it hasn't arrived yet, still getting made. And then, because I wanted a dress to have, I ended up taking this up from Lace Market, which is one of my dream dresses, and it came in this indoor pretty bag. It was brand new with tags. is this beautiful dolly cat dress. It's the special set in ivory. I thought ivory was a very beautiful color uh, because you can really make it all the details of the dress. Cats show up very nicely. And it's just really beautiful. I've removed the waist ties, but um, they, they did come with that. And they also came with the matching hair bow right there that you can, um, or a hair clip really. And after getting them, I had to hunt down the dolly cat tights. And I was thankfully able to get them at a pretty decent price, especially because 
after I got these like a week later, they went up again on lace market for twice the amount of money I got these for. So that was pretty fortunate for me. Um, I then picked up this here, which didn't come in this bag, um, but it's, and it is a uh, dreamy planetarium. And here, here's the the um, collar bow, and it came with the uh, side clip. It was just such a stunning print and I had to have it because it has cats and space on it. So it's absolutely beautiful. Thankfully the OP fits me pretty well because it doesn't have any shearing in the back or anything like that to make it adjustable. And um, it was pretty cheap because uh, one of the sleeves, this one right here has some damage but it's not too bad. And it definitely looks like something that can be repaired. So I didn't fuss too much over it, especially with such a good discount. If you hear little snoring noises, I do apologize. It is my dog. getting the dress I did want the tie I mean the, the socks oh sorry the um the dolly cat uh, set were also socks they're like knee socks OTKs um, and I had to get them thankfully I was able to find them on Wonderwalt for a not too bad price and they're brand new as well I then picked up something that wasn't on my wish list previously. Uh, Dreamy Planetarium specifically wasn't on my wish list, but I did want some kind of constellation or space print. I just hadn't quite decided, and that's what I ended up getting because of the good price. Um, and the next dress wasn't on my wish list either, but it was just too beautiful and I needed it um, because it was just at, at such a good price. The waist ties. Here we go. Here's the dress. And this is Memorial Library, the OP in pink. And I just thought it was pretty, it was really stunning. I love the fact that it has books on it, it has bears on it. So that's really cool as well. It just seems like the print you'll rock at the library or something. So I really needed it. I love books. And I was happy to get it, especially because it came with the beret as well as the OTKs. Unfortunately, these are in pink. When it's, uh, you know, the print is pink or a different color, I do prefer ivory or white um, OTKs or tights just because um, that way it's not just pink throughout. But I still like these and I'll obviously wear them with it. And there are other bits and bobs in there, like um, this is for the collar of the shirt and all that. This is just such a pretty dress. Here's the beret. I had it in my room, so I had to go run and get it. It's very beautiful, and it does come with a clip that you can wear on the front of the beret, but I have it. Um, t I don't have it on right now. I, I like taking the detachable pieces off just so that, you know, um, the dresses don't get snagged or the hats don't get snagged while they're stored. After getting those things, I felt like I needed um, something that wasn't from a really big brand that it, I wouldn't have to worry about getting messy if I went somewhere that was a little bit more messy. So I wanted a body line piece and I ended up going with this one here. And this is striped 
balloon bear. And I just thought it was really cute. Um, and it was for a very decent price, so I went for it. All of the um, dresses that I'm getting and items are either from uh, secondhand shops that don't require any sort of shopping service. And the only exception really are the body line shoes. Um, those I had to purchase new without any discount and you know, it still came <laughs> scuffed, but that's okay. I'm only a little bit salty about that. Moving right along, this dress is very beautiful. And the only thing I don't like about it is that the waist ties are not detachable, which really sucks. Um, I like detachable waist ties because then you can tie the, tie the bow really nicely and then you can uh, take, you know, take one of the buttons off for the waist ties, put the dress on, put the button back on, and you're all set, you're ready, you don't need help tying your waist ties. But with when they're not detachable, obviously you don't have that luxury, so that just sucks. It also came with, it didn't come with the hair bow, but it did come with this, which is just uh, for around the waist. And randomly it came with this um, old school um, rectangular head piece. And it's really pretty, just not the kind of um, hair pieces that I will be using. Um, this is also by Bodyline, by the way. And it just, it is really pretty. I didn't want to uh, try to get socks that would fit for this, and I thought I'd get some plain socks, and then I thought I was a genius because I found these on Lace Market, and they had balloons, and they had this bear on it, and I thought, hey, the bear is the wrong color, but look, it has all the details that are on this other dress, and I ended up picking them up not knowing that these are actually the socks that Body Lane released with that particular dress just because the seller had it as like off-brand socks. They didn't say that they were body line or anything like that. So either way, I lucked out though. So I, I got some socks that really work well with that dress. I then picked up this dress or this JSK, which is A La Carte Tea Time by Angelic Pretty. It was for a good price. It didn't come with the head bow or anything like that, but I had to have it. It was in my preferred colorway and everything, so I needed it. And I just love the details on this dress. It has cutlery, it has sweets, and it has plates here at the bottom, strawberries, bows, you know, cookies, a bunch of things like that. So I thought it'd be a really, really nice dress to wear at a cafe meet or something like that. Um, and I wanted it, so I got it. It's in very good condition. It is an older print because it still has a built-in petty. I didn't exactly, um, I don't know what releases these all are, so I'm really bad about that. One day I'll, you know, educate myself. But for now, I'm um, just looking at prints that I like. <laughs> I do eventually want to get um, a beret that matches that color maybe they had bow and it'd be nice if i can find the matching socks for that dress as well um and then i picked up let's see oh this another cute pots item from the same um line as the other two and it was one that i really wanted but couldn't find at a good price until it came up on lace market this one i feel like you can use with more outfits because it's a simple star it's based off of the star um, you know, pocket watch, star locket. And it's so pretty, simple, you know, yellow, pink, and it has ju a jewel right there, a little pearl. So I feel like you can use it with a lot of different things. And I, I forgot about these. Before getting the uh, Dolly Cat, dress so before any of the dresses after i purchased or i ordered my tab out dress i ended up getting this which is the me likes tea i believe it is the poof monster yes the poof monster petticoat and i wanted a petticoat that would be long lasting so i did invest a little bit more money than um 
you know, a cheaper brand, uh, a cheaper petticoat would be, just because I wanted something that would last me for a little while. And it does look like it will be, it will. The tool's pretty, um, it's harder tool, so it's not gonna deflate as easily. And you really just need one of these and it proofs really well. Um, I will have to see how long it works or it lasts me for, but I am quite happy with it. I ended up getting one that was 45 um, centimeters long instead of the standard 40, just so it can be a little bit um, longer in case it, I needed it and it f fits perfectly for Angelic Pretty OPs and JSKs. And after getting Dreamy Planetarium, I thought I needed something black so I can wear it with navy dresses or darker color dresses. And I ended up picking this up secondhand um, from Lace Market because I didn't want to invest too much on it since I, I'm not going to have a lot of darker colored dresses, just, there'll just be a few of them. Um, and I needed it, so <laughs> I needed one that would work for that um, petticoat wise. Um, I'm not sure what brand this, this is, the seller wasn't sure herself. It might be Diamond Honey, but um, this is made with a tool that isn't quite as hard as that one was, so I don't know how long lasting this will be. Hopefully it lasts me for a little while though. Uh, otherwise I'll just pick up another, um, if the Me Likes Tea Petticoat is really good, I'll pick up one of those in black for my darker color dresses. And of course, after getting that, I heard that, you know, it's better when you're wearing sack dresses to wear an A-line petty because um, the shape is much, much nicer for those kind of dresses. So I don't know if I can even use that for Dreamy Planetarium, but <laughs> I might need to get a A-line sack, um, an A-line petticoat for my sack dresses in black and one in white. So we'll see what happens with that. This was an impulse buy. I had it planned on this uh, print at all or even seen it before but it, it was just so pretty and I needed it and it was a good price this is from Metamorphose it is pink lemonade the skirt thankfully it's a bit of a longer skirt so I can actually wear it with you know not just casual Lolita and I just thought the details were so pretty it looks like a nice thing to wear on a picnic or um, you know just somewhere like that in summer and I really, really wanted a skirt as well that I can wear when I don't want to wear a full dress. I then picked up this, which came at a very good price because it was missing the, um, the bow right here. But the bow, I looked at pictures and it's really just um, a regular ribbon it didn't have any prints on it or anything like that, so I can easily make one for myself. And this is Bake Sweets Parade, the OP in pink. Um, er, the condition of this dress is absolutely marvelous, and I really like how the shape fits me. This dress fits me like a glove. The um, bust cuts off right where my bust cuts off, so it's, the shape is absolutely perfect, and I really love it. Uh, from Claw the Child uh, around that time, I ended up finding these, which is a sneak peek and this is something that I'm going to be getting in um, a future haul that I'll be doing, all based on Japanese stores that you can't purchase from directly and you need a shopping service for. And this is Bake Sweet Parade's tights in mint. So I, um, I got these even though it was like, no, I need them in ivory because I want ivory for my color dresses just so it doesn't look like it's too continuous, especially because the pattern on this is really, really large, so it, it's gonna look pretty continuous. But I said, whatever, I'll get them. They're available, they're cheap enough, and they're right here on Plaza Child. So I got them and I, I will use these. While I was ordering that, I didn't wanna just pick up one pair of socks, so I got, or one pair of tights, so I got these socks here. I'm not exactly sure what um, these are from because I, I had no intention of buying the dress or I didn't look at the print. I just thought that these would look, work with some of my other dresses and it'd be nice to have some other, you know, brand socks to use for dresses. So I picked these up. If I find out what they're called, I will write it on the screen so you can see.
there are two things that I've forgotten in my room that I'm just realizing about. So I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the things before I go get them. Um, so this right here is this really uh, nice angelic pretty blouse. Um, seller wasn't sure when this was from or what it was called, so I can't give you the, those details. But it's just a simplistic um, pink blouse with some strawberries on them, and I thought I could use it for a la carte tea time because of the strawberries right here on the blouse. This is a new camera, so I'm hoping that it is focusing on these details. Um, it does have detachable sleeves, which I thought was really cool. And one of the reasons I got it was because of that. I was like, whoa, I've never had a blouse with detachable sleeves before. But after getting it, um, I don't know if it's just because this is an older blouse, but the quality of, the, of it is pretty good. I do like it. I just think that my Taobao blouses are cheaper and the quality is pretty much up to par with this. Um, so I'm just gonna probably get off-brand blouses from now on unless they're pretty decently priced. Like this one was pretty decently priced, so I didn't mind getting it. If I find some other ones that are decently priced and are brand, I'll get, I'll get them, but I'll probably never buy a brand new brand blouse like I would with dresses. So um, it's still a nevertheless a nice blouse. The last dress that I got um, actually, it's a lie. There's another one coming in, but I'm gonna make its own video because I'm really looking forward to that one. And it's not here yet. So. <laughs> but the, the um, last dress that I have to show you guys today is this. It is the Dolly Dot OP um, in wine. And I had to have this dress in wine. I was just, I wanted the OP, but I also wanted the JSK, and I couldn't decide on which one I was going to get or if I'm just gonna get both. So I ended up getting this because it was on sale on the lace market for a pretty decent price. And I really, really love how this fits me. It's a little bit large though. The only thing I, um, I found was this one was a little bit large, so I might need someone to, um, well, I might need to tie the, the waist ties tighter than I did before, just so it fits me a little bit more um, form fitting. But either way, it's a very beautiful dress. And I really want to wear this to like pit stop or something. That'd be, I think that'd be a really nice place to take pictures. It did come with the um, the collar, like um, bow, but I put it away because it's detachable, as I mentioned before. And I really want to try to find the Dolly Dot um, tights. I believe this dress comes with tights in white or ivory. So hopefully I can do that. Alright, I'll be right back. I forgot to put this back in a bag for the purposes of this video, but so it's on the hanger. But I got this, which is a really pretty garden party shirt by uh, Anne Marvel. And I just really love it. The embroidery is really nice. It's more simplistic, which I like. The blouse doesn't have any sort of, um, what's it called, lace on the end. It just has these nice little ruffles, which I think are really pretty. And I thought this would work really nicely with some of my dresses, like um, one that's coming in and also a la carte at tea time. I think will work really, really nicely with this. So I really have to put this blouse. I got this from a seller on Lace Market, who was just really sweet and who I purchased the uh, Memorial, li Memorial Library dress from as well. And from her, I also got, I thought, I figured I needed more bags because goodness knows I don't have enough bags already. <laughs> but um, I got this really nice slimmer biscuit bag. And I think this is the tan color. It's in really nice condition. Um, and I do want to mention while making this, uh, just because I saw some listings on Lace Market for dresses, I mean, for uh, bags that were, you know, um, bent or had some wrinkles on them because of bending or were cracked. Um, when you're, whenever you're storing your bags or not using them, it's a very good idea to stuff them. This bag is completely stuffed and it doesn't have to be with anything special. Like my sister ended up getting this expensive bag that um, the care instructor said, care instruction said, 
just stuff it with tissue paper. You don't have to use tissue paper or anything like that. You can just use used packaging. Like I use, this is stuff with like paper packaging and like um, those uh, little, like that plastic packaging with bubbles on it, that sort of thing. You can just stuff it with whatever, as long as you stuff it so it maintains the shape nicely. And so um, that will help prevent wrinkling during storage, as well as, um, you know, cracking and that sort of thing. Because that's caused by poor storage or, you know, just poor materials. And before I forget these, because these poor shoes got forgotten during um, a bit of the transaction, but I got these black um, Tea Party replicas from a seller on Lace Market. Um, after getting my dresses, I realized that these dresses here, I mean these shoes here, um, probably weren't going to fit the, um, my style too much. I'd have to find a dress really to wear with these. Um, and I decided I needed a pair of black shoes that were um, more with the style that I'm wearing. So that's what I ended up getting. That is everything for this particular video. I do have other bags and such that I think can be used in Lolita, but I didn't buy them specifically for the purpose of Lolita, so I did not include them in this video. Um, I am gonna probably hit you guys up next time with, oh, oh, oh gosh, what was that? Hit you guys up next time with a, um, a video about my Taba order. So I'll record that probably right now so <laughs> I can show it to you guys as well. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.